I wanted, following sort of the London riots that happened a couple of years ago, um, to do a piece where young people are heard, um, and I didn't know where that would be rooted in what environment, but it so happened it led to a housing uh, focus. Home would be the land we come from, really and truly. Wouldn't be here without you. America, One of the strongest um, ideas was to find stories from residents of a hostel in East London. We just went along and uh, spoke to people and let people know that we were doing this and slowly people kept coming to us wanting to tell their stories and they were so moving uh, and so human that we just carried on and that that made the focus of the piece. It's really, really, really important to me that we don't see this as a remount, actually, that we see this as a new piece of work because things have moved on in the real life story of the hostel. Things are not good. And there's a whole group of young mums who, uh, whose funding was cut last August and who were told that they had to go and live in Wales and Manchester and really far-flung places where they know nobody with their babies, which is awful. You never really saw these, see these kind of stories in the theatre, usually. Um, and there's something quite, uh, quite involving about the rarity of these people who aren't just ignored by the theatre, but are ignored by society in general. So putting that on a stage and trying to communicate their lives in uh, some way to an audience is, is quite an amazing thing. We were experimenting with verbatim as a form in the workshops and another thing that was really important to the piece was music. Um, partly because I always felt, well music is such an important part of everybody's life, especially a young person. I was interviewing people that were, you know, being interviewed and therefore had a mask of some sort, rightly so. And so the music allows us to hopefully um, transcend that and get into people's psyche and how they're feeling emotionally. Lots of the times in these interviews there's something that the person might really want to communicate and say but they don't maybe feel comfortable to do so or capable to do so and in the songs that's where we could really explore those big subtexts. I guess the main thing I wanted to do was to to, to not make it musical. <laughs> um, I mean, Nadia definitely um, enforced that to begin with, um, but I guess after reading the script and, and seeing exactly seeing the scenes being put together, like it kind of clicked in my head that um, there are no bells and clicks and pops and whistles, and that's exactly what it's like in the hostel itself. And so the music has to reflect the honesty of that. So my character communicates in beatboxing um, because when Nadia went initially to do the interviews with all the young people in the hostel. Um, there's only a certain amount of people she could speak to and there are a lot of people that were, were too shy to come forward. So the idea of my character is that I represent those people that didn't come forward. The song is almost an opportunity to just make this person, who's a real person that you're seeing on stage, just become that little bit more alive and round and, and full. I heard there's no place like it That is warm when you feel it on both sides You know, it was just brilliant to have this opportunity to tell the story again, to reach more people, but also because it's a piece of documentary theatre, things change, things have changed, unfortunately not all for the best. One of the magic things that this play does is it takes people who can be alienated from society at large, it tells their stories in such intimate detail that you have to actually acknowledge them as people and engage with them as people. Um, you can't just marginalise them into classic phrases like scum or yobs or whatever it is. Um, and I, you know, I think the National Theatre audience is quite an open-minded bunch most of the time, but we always need reminding of that, that these are human beings and they're stuck in a loop. The idea of being able to shed light on this is a beautiful thing because um, there is always thoughts in, in, in media about how there's like a disconnect between the youth culture and the rest of Britain um, and um, 
being able to help bridge that gap, I guess, is a once in a lifetime opportunity. somewhere where we can relax and form relationships and be ourselves and it's going to affect us all so we can't all you know sort of say this isn't really about me you know I'm okay I have a home my children will be all right you just don't know